Hey Ari gang, it's your girl Beatball Ari and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to slay your wig just like I did mine. Um, if you're interested in the details of this wig, please make sure to check out my last video for the details. Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. These are some items that I use in the video. Of course, you're going to need some rubber gloves to protect your hands while doing this process. You're also going to need a dyeing bowl or any kind of bowl as such. Then you're going to need a whoops. You're going to need a dyeing or bleaching brush, anything you want to call that, and that's to apply it to the lace. Then you're going to need some bleaching powder. I recommend to use the Clear All Collider Colors. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I recommend that because it gets rid of the brassiness on the lace. And then you're, of course, going to need some cream developer, and I use the 30 volume. I will also have all of the items that I use today located in the description box. As you can see, this part of the video, I am gradually adding the bleach. Then I'm going to follow that with the volume developer. And the reason I do so is because I don't want to make it too runny and or too thick. So I think it's best if you do this process so you can get a perfect um, consistency. Um, I haven't done a voiceover in so long, you guys. If you guys like um, and feel like I'm doing an okay job, let me know how I'm doing. <laughs> okay so as you can see um it is a bit runny i did make a mistake i should have added a little bit more bleaching powder to be a little bit thicker than that but that is okay um i end up you know applying the bleach to the lace and you want to make sure you move very quickly while doing this step because uh if you go very slow you can tend to get the bleach on the actual strands and that is not what you want to do you do not want to do that so you want to make sure you move very fast and you want to make sure that the powder well the dot the bleach excuse me is kind of a thick consistency because i end up making a mistake by accidentally um bleaching the actual strands on the hair but it ended up being okay because i was dying the hair in a way so yeah And also while applying the bleach to the lace, you want to make sure that you're kind of patting it in and not like um, really brushing it in too much because like I said, you can end up getting the bleach on the actual strands instead of the knots. So I ended up going off camera and I ended up bleaching the rest of the lace. I know that I said right here 25 minutes is what I let it set for, but I actually let it set for 20 minutes. You also want to cover it with aluminum foil or a bag so it can process a little bit faster. Also while I'm doing the bleach and I meant to mention that you want to check um, back and forth frequent just to see any changes. But in this clip I end up using some ISO Plus shampoo and conditioner in one and that helps to stop the processing um, within the um, bleach and I've used that size amount and I've meant to um, use my gloves but because I've been doing it for a little minute I didn't. But um, if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend you to use rubber gloves, definitely. And I didn't record this part, but after using it, I, uh, the ISO Plus shampoo and conditioner, I ended up going um, in with my Purple Shimmer and Lights shampoo and conditioner, washing over the lace just to get some of that uh, brassiness out of the lace because that do tend to happen when you bleach the knot. So definitely make sure you do that step afterwards using ISO Plus.
So after I end up washing the bleach out of the lace, I end up taking a wig and applying it back to my mannequin head. And in this clip, I'm showing you how I pluck my hairline. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of slow it down for you guys. If you'd like to see more of a full detail um, video, let me know in the comments. And I'll do a video separate just dedicating how I pluck my hairline. So as far as plucking my hairline, I like to take and part in a small section in the front like so. And then I like to take my tweezers and I like to pluck backwards and I make sure when I pluck, I do not pluck um, always in the same area. I make sure that I go um, all over as such. And then I just kind of take my tweezers and pluck towards the front too. Um, the reason why you don't want to pluck in the same area because you can tend to get plucking happy and um, end up plucking the ball spot and you definitely do not want to do that when plucking your frontal. If you're not following me on my social media already, then baby, what are you doing? Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, Pretty Ariel, and my Instagram at xbeatbyari. Follow on my Twitter at beatbyari. I don't be on that as much, but um, I'm definitely going to try and be better at it. <laughs> So after plucking, this is what the hairline is looking like right now. And you see it does have a little bit brown on the um, strands, but it's okay, like I said. And that happened because I end up, um, like I said, having the bleach too runny. I should have had it more thicker, but it's okay. <laughs> Once again, because I'm going to dye it eventually in a way. So um, this is how much um, hair I end up plucking off. I think that I plucked a fair amount because it kind of mimics my hairline. Okay, so in this clip, you end up seeing that I end up using a door magenta. I think that was number 89. Um, when dyeing it, that color, it took me about three processes to get the actual color that I wanted. So the door really didn't do anything, honestly. I ended up having to go to Sally's Beauty and I ended up getting the high color. I saw a lot of reviews on that and I ended up mixing it with a 40 cream volume developer and I ended up letting it sit for an hour and it ended up getting to the color that I wanted exactly. I didn't get a chance to record that part, but you guys get where I'm going at. So yeah, after um, applying the dye to it, it ended up looking like this, you guys. Also, while dyeing your hair, you want to be careful not to get any dye on your lace. I ended up making that mistake. I ended up getting some of that color on the lace, but it's okay. Um, I will upload a video showing you how to get that out. But these are some Snapchat clips that I ended up recording. So guys, this was the next day. Um, this is how the color ended up coming out. I ended up getting really sleepy, so um, that's why I didn't finish creating a video. But um, I ended up using some Red Can 25 Benefit that helped lock in the color and it smells so amazing. And it served as a heat protectant. And everybody say hey to my baby Luna. <laughs> she had made a grand interest to the video. But I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to use my blow dryer to kind of fully blow dry because it was still kind of damp from before. After blow drying it thoroughly, I end up using my Remington flat iron. I know it says 390, but I end up going to 410 because, I mean, why not? It's human hair. I mean, if it can't take that heat, then um, that hair is 
obviously trash <laughs> but no i end up using that remington um flat iron if you want to know where i got it from i will have everything located in the description box of all the items that i use in this video um including links and different kind of things to kind of help you guys out if you want to go ahead and purchase the theme items as well but i end up doing the comb pass i went by like two passes on the hair don't want to kind of over process it because the hair is already soft and gorgeous and super silky as is so yeah, that's what I end up doing. So I end up having to section the hair off in like three different sections because the hair was so freaking soft. It was kind of getting mixed in with the um, unstraightened hair. So um, this is just a further clip just showing how I kind of uh, went through using the comb method and passing by like two times. And also, I know you guys see that steam come off that flat iron, but don't be scared, honey, okay? It's just flat iron in their hair. It's just doing its job. And one thing I can say, this hair is definitely holds heat. I kind of burned my finger a couple of times um, after um, flat ironing it. So this is um, coming towards the end of the video. This is when I came to the top portion of the hair. And I'm just doing the same process as always um, that I said before. Um, just, you know, passing the comb and going through two passes, if I'm not mistaken, sometimes three. Just to make sure I definitely get that bone straight. I know I didn't do the hot comb method on camera while it was on the mannequin head. I ended up doing that on my next video you guys will be seeing um just to make sure that the hair is lined on flat but y'all look at that velvet hair it is so freaking gorgeous look at that color just getting to it. So as you can see, I am officially done flat ironing the hair. Um, the hair is so gorgeous, you guys. Look how soft it is and how bouncy and fluid it is. Look at it. Look at that flow. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> So you guys, this pretty much comes to the end of this video. Look at that freaking scalp. Look at that hairline, you guys. It looks so freaking natural. Just get into it. I think I did an awesome job. If you guys think that I did the same thing, then make sure you thumbs up. Comment below, let me know how you think I'm doing and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned to see how I slay and apply my wig. Peace, love, and chicken grease always. Bye.